Hey guys, it's me. I'm back again. Um, this time up around, found something. I was out at Target of all places, shopping for some stuff for my daughter. Okay, kids, spend time shopping. You go into the toy department. Well, I happened to come across something that really caught my attention, and I'll kind of show you what it is. So let me flip the camera around here. It was this. This is the Tech Deck Street Tour Love Park um, finger skateboard track. I mean, when you look at it, you can see you've got a decent looking little fountain and then a little kind of raised area with some, with some walls around it. Well, just so happens that when you get it and you expand the thing out, as so we come across my wonderful messy desk, which is still in the process of being rebuilt. The final thing looks like this. So let me sit down here. So you can see, I mean, you've got semicircular. You've got a, you know, area up here, little set of steps, another set of steps, some kind of pylons. There are these little ramp pieces that come with it that flip up. Even a few spots for some signs and a few other things. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to cough there for a second. Um, but what's neat about it is the fat is the size on it. It is actually scaled perfectly for 40k. So if I were to take, say for example, my trusty fire warrior here, I mean it this is just perfect scaling for it. So if I stick them behind one of the little plastic or what are supposed to be concrete in real life. Barricades, it's, it's perfect height for there. If I stick him down into the pool area, I mean, the scaling on this thing is just great. Put him over one of the low walls. So he can actually shoot over the low wall, but if I put him behind the high wall, he gets a nice cover save. The width on a lot of these pieces is actually wide enough that you can set figures on. And even some of the larger ones. So it's like if I take, whoops, over here, grab one of my broadsides and set him up there so he fits pretty nice. But he's also the right height. So if I come down here to table height, <laughs> I mean, that is just spot on for size. So it works out really well. Um, the angled pieces aren't super steep. So you can still put a fig like that on it, or if I wanted to go to something like one of the smaller fire warriors, he fits on it so I could actually use that area. Same thing for down in this area where you have the little fountain. Fits pretty well. Um, so I was kind of kind of surprised at it. As far as the overall size on it, let's see if I can do this. We'll grab our tape measure. And we're talking just under, oops, just under 16 inches wide, about 15 and a half inches wide at its widest, 15 and three quarters, I guess. And as far as depth to the front, try and get that one down there so you can see, you're looking at about 14, 13 and a half, 14 inches deep. So, I mean, it's a pretty neat setup as far as height. The tallest wall section is just under two inches. So, I mean, this is kind of a pretty cool play set. Um, there's a lot of detail in it, which makes it nice. So it's like if I come down here to where the railings are, you can see where, seeing how it would be for skateboarders, they're kind of, it's kind of gnarled and there's a little bit of texture to it. Um, the pavement itself isn't just glossy smooth. There's actually a little bit of texture to it. You can kind of see it there. You can even see a few cracks that they put in some of the pieces. So, I mean, it's a pretty neat little set, and I'm hoping that this will come back into focus. So, why would this thing pop up? Well, this is going to be kind of the centerpiece of a new display board. So, what I've got beneath it, what it's been sitting on, is this cork board. So, what I'm going to do with this one is kind of turn it into a display centerpiece so I can push it back on my board like that and then I'll have this raised area for my for my main troops or for my command squad you know stuff along those lines so I can put a few figs there 
maybe stick a broadside or two. You know, I don't know. Stick a few guys down in the middle. Maybe some, maybe a Pathfinder team. You know, I don't know. It's more smaller battle suits. Oops. Set him up there and see how he does with all of his buddies. There we go. You know, but this way I can actually do a pretty nice display board. I still have a bunch of space in front with this. So if I wanted to, like for example on this one, what I'm probably going to end up putting in front are going to be, you know, some of my smaller craft like the Piranha. Um, probably going to add some more raised areas at the back just so I have more space to put stuff. But you kind of get the idea. I mean, this is gonna, it's a really good start for a piece of terrain and it saves me a ton of time and that I don't have to build it from scratch. I can go ahead and take this piece, hit it with some paint and just start. There's no texturing that I have to deal with on it. Um, the center fountain, I'm probably gonna end up changing it so that seeing how it's tau and it's round, it's, I'm gonna end up with the tau um, the Tau Insignia in the middle of it, so you'll have the circle and then the line. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave this center fountain piece there. I mean, it is removable, so I could take it off if I wanted to. I don't know if I'm going to leave that, or if I'm going to go ahead and paint it and even fill this maybe with some um, some of the fake water so it does still look like water. And who knows? I mean, I could even have the guy standing in the water. That would be fine. It's no big deal. Um, put a little bit of more texture down on the front of this. Maybe even incorporate, <clears throat> excuse me, the rest of the walkway. But anyway, that's kind of the idea with it. All in all, it's a pretty neat set. Um, definitely liking it. I'm going to have to go back and look and see if there are any more of them. Um, as well as to see what other sets they offer. Uh, Price-wise, like I said, though, it was great. It was 20 bucks. It's got a cool look to it. And it's definitely a piece of terrain that... Or the start for a good piece of terrain. So hopefully next time you guys see this, it'll be a project that's a little bit farther on. Um, maybe in another video, I'll show you other stuff that I've been working on because I've still been working on the purity seals. In fact, if you look over there, there's a whole big bunch of them. Um, I've still got some more designs that I'm working on. Those molds I'm probably going to work on this weekend. So I've got a lot of stuff going on, but this one I kind of wanted to show you guys because I think it's kind of neat. Talk to you guys later.